with no hub, I try to build the smartest dumb thing possible in the sense that it does not know about your game, your players, accounts, player limits, any of that. It just knows lobbies and that's it. I want it to be smart in the sense that you can cover or hopefully as many use cases with these dumb tools that is possible. One way to think about NoHub is really just a huge list with a bunch of games that you can connect to. You know, that allows you to do a bunch of fun stuff. Like say you are making a game that you play in teams or like eight people for a full session or, or stuff like that. In that case, you can create lobbies for each of these sessions that players can join and then players can browse. And that's where NoHub stores and provides the list for you. So, you know, you don't need to deploy your own web server just to keep track of a list. You can use the add-ons and the integrations, etc. Maybe you don't even want to browse those lobbies. You can just pick one at random and join. Now you have quick play or you want to pick one that where the players are close to your skill level so you just pick one based on MMR and now you have matchmaking if you think about what can it do for your game no have basically helps your players gather into groups and that's why it does not have again lobby names player limits etc because if your game needs it you can build it on top of no hub if you don't need it then you just don't get the unnecessary bloat and everyone's happy is this going to assist with the handoff between joining the lobby and then getting into the game or is this a lobby where i can still run and jump around the level and shoot it you know people while we're just getting warmed up and waiting for everybody else to join and the answer is that's all up to you, whatever you want to do, because no hub is just the vessel to get you connected with the other players where you want them to go from there after the connection is made is is up to you. Yeah, exactly. At least for now, no hub has no idea who's in your lobby. It does not track anything like that. It's completely game agnostic as well. The lobbies don't have an ID and an address. Whenever you join a lobby, you get the address and then you can connect to whoever is hosting the game. But still, you often want stuff like pre game lobbies, you know, like a character setup screen. You know, you don't jump immediately into the action and into the game, but you have a moment to customize your avatar or set your name or, or whatever. And when everybody's ready, the server broadcasts a message saying, hey, it's time to actually go play. And then all oh, the game clients just hide the lobby screen, load the game map, and then start. And again, if you notice, no hub is really not needed for, for any of this. Yeah, I think that's a challenge to communicate.